Welcome back everybody to the Teach Me channel. Today we're going to talk about Blink updates for 2023. Blink has done a phenomenal job making updates to their system. And I want to tell you about it. We're going to talk about that right after this. There are a few crucial updates that you as a Blink owner need to know about. Or maybe you're considering purchasing a Blink. Well, let me tell you now, Blink has upped their game and I'm so excited about it. Now there is multi-camera recording. We're going to test that. And also there are some bug fixes and there are some new things on the app. One called scheduling. I want to show you all about that. But along with all of these changes, sometimes errors pop up. There's a new error coming on the scene and we'll talk about that today and how to fix it. First of all, my most exciting one. I'm telling you, I love this multi-camera recording. This is awesome. I've already done videos saying that what Blink would not do, one thing it would not do in the past is multi-camera recording. Oh, well, you know what? That is simultaneous recording of their cameras. No fault of the camera, but it was a sync module that was bottling up the, the entire system. Well, they have fixed it. The techs at Blink have repaired that. They made the corrections and it works beautifully. As a matter of fact, I tested it out. Check this out. Well, here's our, here's here's our, our test. test. Three, Three blink, blink, blink cameras. cameras. Are they, are recording, they recording at the, at the same, same time? time? We'll check, we'll check, check the timestamp short, short, shortly to let you know. To let you know. Thanks, 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 thanks for joining us today. Did you catch the audio there? The audio is the same with all three cameras. Multi camera recording. That's awesome. So that tells me now I only tested this with three cameras. Maybe some of you can check this with five cameras or 10 cameras and see what the system will do. I'd love to hear about that. Place those comments below and let us know. Now this is with a single sync module, a single sync module. So one sync module with three cameras having three simultaneous recordings. I am so excited about that and I hope that you are too. So again, do your own test and make sure. Now the big thing about multi-camera recording uh, that we spoke about before was if action was happening in the front yard and something else was happening in the backyard, at that time before the upgrade, the module, the sync module would have decided which one started first and start recording while leaving the second one blank. Well, that's no longer the case here, and I'm very excited about it. It will record. The sync module has been upgraded, and it will record all three. Check it out, and let us know will you receive the same multi-camera experience with all of those cameras. All right? I love it, and I believe that you will. Now, if there's an error or if there's a problem with the recording, let's say three will do it, but not five. Well, Instead of getting uh, my advice before was to get another pop up camera, just get another brand and let that be and use that for that space to ensure proper recording. But now my advice is simply this uh, purchase another sync module for that fourth or fifth camera. However, it goes. So if you buy a five pack or even a 10 pack of blink cameras and if you do your multi camera test, and if you discover that uh, there are some cameras that are delayed, well then put those other cameras on a separate sync module. Multi-camera recording, check. All right, so now let's go ahead and talk about some bug fixes. On previous episodes, we informed you about some error messages, uh, some that were very common as in camera busy, right? Well, that's pretty much a thing of the past, and I'm excited about that. The system is getting better and better. Now, there's a new error that is popping up on the app, and this new error says that there is a failure to back up your recordings. Now, that would be the case if you have placed or inserted a USB drive into your sync module. So if you get that error, don't worry. There are a few steps that we can take to resolve this issue. So the first thing that uh, is recommended is that we make sure that the camera firmware is up to date. 
Make sure the sync module is up to date. Make sure the app is up to date. So make sure you check for updates. And you do that by going to uh, going into your Blink app and clicking on the settings button. Now, secondly, you may need to remove that USB drive from your module and place it into a computer and reformat it. Now, if you have something on that drive that you want to keep, you want to copy it at this point and then reformat that USB drive and reinsert it into the sync module. That should work. So one, if you make sure we're making sure our system is up to date Two, we're going to reformat the USB drive, making sure it's good to go. And third, if that fails, well, then we're going to have to power cycle. We can do this. We can power cycle. Maybe we should do this first. Uh, power cycle the camera. That is unplug it or take the batteries out. Leave it out for a minute or two. Put the batteries back in. Power cycle the sync module. Unplug it for about a minute or two. Plug it back in and power cycle the router. Unplug it and leave it out for about one or two minutes and plug it back in. Once everything comes back up, let's see if the problem is, is resolved. If the problem still has not been resolved, we may have to factory reset the sync module. Oh. I know it. I don't want to do it either. But that may be the thing that would solve it. So hopefully one of the other ways, number one, uh, make sure our system is up to date. The firmware is up to date or two, uh, power cycling it. Uh, I'm getting these mixed up. <laughs> or number three, um, maybe we should format the USB drive if that's needed and reinsert it. Yeah. And the very last thing we want to do is to reset the sync module. Mm, really don't want to go there if we unless we have to. All right. Let me know which one works for you and which resolves that issue of uh, clip backup clip failure. All right. Last thing we want to talk about today. Let's go ahead and talk about this new feature on the app called scheduling. Oh, this is incredible. I really like that. All right, so let's go back to our home screen once again. Let's hit the settings button. All right, now that we're in the settings, you see the third option down under device and system settings. Let's click this. You'll see it says now create schedule. All right, organize camera displays and other system settings. So let's go ahead and click that. Now, once we click that, we need to decide which module, if you have more than one, which module we want to schedule. Well, I'm going to schedule the front module. All right. So there it is. I hit that front module and now we want to go down to the word scheduling. All right. Hit schedule. Now we have a whole list of calendar days. All right. So let's say we want to schedule our camera uh, to stop recording or disarm our cameras for a certain time. Maybe uh, our lawn service is going to come over to the house and they're going to be there between 4 and 6 p.m. on Saturday. They'll be there. No, let's say Wednesday. They'll be there from 4 to 6 p.m. on Wednesday. And we don't want all the notifications, all the bung, 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 bung. You don't want all the notifications when they go back and forth cutting the grass. Well, we can fix that. As we're in the app, you notice on the top of the app, it says weekly service, weekly schedule. It says weekly schedule. Well, let's click that plus button there. And it comes up and notice by default, the system is armed. So. We said they would come, the grass people would come, the lawn service would come between four and six. So let's select four o'clock and we're going to press PM. Notice we're also going to press Wednesday. So Wednesday at 4 PM, the system is going to be disarmed. Okay. Because it is armed up to that moment. So again, it says disarm at 4 PM on Wednesday, and we're going to save that. Now you'll see an icon down here at the bottom where it has actually uh, recorded that. Now we said we want that they're normally done two hours later at six o'clock. So we'll click again, the plus, and we'll go to the six o'clock PM 
and by default it's armed right so arm at 6 p.m what day what day wednesday all right so we see that wednesday is at the top arm at 6 p.m on wednesday and we'll hit save all right so now look at the grid all the blue tells you that the system is armed those are times when the system is armed but the white section there that's when the system is disarmed and so we just set that up so the system will not record during those particular hours everything on that sync module won't record but after six of course it will begin to record again well that's it for now thanks so much for joining me on the teach me channel make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this we'll be talking about blink for a little bit and i'll also have some more information i cannot wait to tell you about on the next video all right see you next time if you want to watch more tech videos, click this link. I also teach the Bible, and I enjoy doing that very much. If you want to watch one of those videos, click this link.